Hey guys, so uh, just just a little hot topic today. It was kind of you can call this a little mini rant or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, someone comes up to me, and, and I hear this a lot of times. I mean, I, I, someone came up to me the other day, and they said, you know, David. You know, I'm getting overwhelmed with a lot of different things online, and I'm really trying to monetize my passion and create, you know, this cool like lifestyle brand that we're all doing online. And and you know, I've got products and things and all these different things that I want to do, and I'm not having success at it. We end up having a long conversation, and and I also have had a conversation with some people about this on Facebook, and I want to talk about um, kind of two problems that a lot of people face when it comes to really having success online. Because here's the thing, we've heard this before from a lot of different, a lot of different people, right? Is that to have success online and building a, building a business like this, you know, it is simple but not easy, right? So let's talk about the two different problems. And, and the problem number one is what I call the serial learners. It's not, not serial as in like, you know, Frosted Flakes cereal, as in too much learning, right? Now, you might be thinking to yourself, okay, David, that's like crazy shenanigans. There's no such thing as too much learning, right? Well, there actually is, and let me explain why. What ends up happening is someone gets excited, let's just call it whatever you wanna call it, internet marketing or building a lifestyle business online, all the, all the kind of stuff that we're doing, mediapreneurs, they get excited and they start, you know, thinking of an idea. Then they might buy a course or a system or something like that to help them with their idea, and that's awesome. But then they might see this other course and they buy that. And then wait a minute, they don't know a lot about this subject so they buy that course and they buy this course and they buy that course. And next thing you know, they've got 50 different courses and zero action taken because they're overwhelmed, right? Not only are they overwhelmed, this is like a very presidential finger here, not only are they overwhelmed, um, but, but more importantly, it's almost a too many cooks in the kitchen type situation either because you know what? There's a lot of different strategies that work, sort of like with fitness, right? Like, like let's say you were looking to lose some weight. You could go online, honestly, and find 50,000 different ways to lose weight, and people are going to talk about them like they're their religion. You know, you have to do this diet. You have to do this workout. Well, guess what? A lot of this stuff works. <laughs> a lot of this stuff works, but it's, it's about just focusing and staying in a couple of areas. I remember when I was having some early success, I just had one or two mentors that I followed a lot, and I kind of ignored the rest of the noise as I was implementing. So what, you know, what's the issue there? It's not that learning is the problem. The problem is too much without action is a problem. And I'll get to a solution in a second. The second problem going along with the serial learners is what I call the serial attenders, a serial attender. Now what's a serial attender? A serial attender is someone that basically goes to every conference and event ever but never moves forward with their business, right? We, we've heard of this one before. And, and, and you know what, I'm not, I'm not making this video to pick on anyone. So if, you, if this is you and you're not having success, I want this to be more of a wake up call, not like a, a I'm shaking my finger at you or whatever it is. Because let's talk about it. Events are awesome, you get to network, you get to meet people, you get to learn stuff, right? But you gotta have time to go back, get into the trenches and do the stuff that you're scared of, which is getting those products up getting those blog posts out, getting those videos out, working on the actual business and not using courses and not using you know events as a delay mechanism to get them done, right? So I'm not saying don't, go to, don't buy courses. I'm not saying don't go to events or anything like that. But what I'm saying is make sure you set goals for yourself before you do anything else. So like for example, if I bought a course, say I'm gonna finish this course, I'm gonna do everything in this course, I want to make sure that I get to this point before I buy something else, before I buy something else, before I attend. Maybe it's to get your, to your first thousand dollars. Maybe it's to get to whatever, you know, X goal that you put up. So that's just kind of my rant thought on this. If this is you, don't freak out. Don't think that I'm like trying to put this down or anything because it's just the reality of it that maybe you might be sitting there saying, okay, wait a minute, I'm going to become more self-aware now and maybe actually focus on some implementation, start generating a little bit of income, start building that brand. So a little bit of a rant, a little bit of a piece of advice today on DSG TV. I want to hear your thoughts as always below and uh, I will see you next time and thanks to our good friends at Lead Player, I can now do a cool email box like this one coming up uh, that you can uh, then subscribe, get more videos like this and all that kind of jazz. See ya.